This is the Miu Mini Plus. Chances are if you click this video, you're already familiar with this handheld and understand why we all love it so much. This is not going to be a review on the Miu Mini Plus. I already made one of those. I'll put a link to that in the description if you're interested and haven't seen it. But today what I'm gonna be doing is taking a look at the Miu Mini running Onion OS. The folks over at Mech DIY sent me over this MIUI Mini with Onion OS already installed. Now, full disclaimer, Onion OS is absolutely free. Acquiring it and installing it on your Mini isn't a terribly complex process and can be done rather easily. So although I will be putting a link to this specific Mini in the description, this is in no way, shape, or form me encouraging someone to go out and buy a second Mini with Onion OS installed if you already own one. However, if you do not yet own a Mini and are planning on getting one, this video could help you decide if you want to buy one with stock OS or one with Onion OS pre-installed. Now this Mini from Mech DIY did come with its own bells and whistles that I feel I should talk about. They optimized the hell out of this thing and really took care of a lot of the legwork that it would take for an individual to go and make this same kind of build. The ROM list is completely overhauled and you'll find a ton more games on here than what would be present on a stock MiU Mini especially when it comes to PS1 emulation. My stock mini has less than 30 PlayStation 1 games. This one sent over by Mech DIY has almost 200, as well as a lot of the ports and ROM hacks that are available for the MiU Mini are already pre-installed on this one sent over by Mech DIY. They also have just this SD card for sale. So if you already have a mini and you want this same build that you're seeing in this video, I'll put a link to that in the description as well. They also sell cases and decals and a bunch of other cool stuff. So feel free to check them out or not, it's completely up to you. But now let's get into the actual benefits of running Onion OS. At first glance, the menu doesn't appear to be much different, but in my opinion, it's much more neat and organized. Emulation has been enhanced and optimized, especially when it comes to the Sega consoles. That's where I've noticed the biggest difference. Everything just seemed to run much more smooth on Onion than it did on the stock firmware. Now another huge benefit to Onion OS users is the inclusion of a Nintendo DS emulator. The emulation is not perfect, you might encounter a few hiccups and some slowdown depending on what games you're playing, but overall the performance was pretty solid and with the games that were loaded onto this specific mini, I didn't really seem to have any issues. Now as difficult as it might seem playing dual screen touch based games on the MiU Mini, the emulator actually makes this pretty seamless. Alternating between screens can be accomplished with one of the back buttons and activating the touch is accomplished with one of the other back buttons. There's like maybe a three minute learning curve. After that, the awkwardness dissipates and you'll be enjoying Nintendo DS games. Another major benefit of Onion OS is the inclusion of the package manager. This gives you full control over what emulators and software are installed on the Mini. You can disable ones that are hardly used or install some new experimental ones. This handheld has always been great for people who enjoy tinkering around, and this adds a whole new level to it, making it that much easier to customize it to your liking. And probably my favorite feature of Onion OS is changing what the center menu button does. On the stock mini, you press this button and it gives you the option to go back to the menu, maybe do a save state, a load state. When you press the center button on Onion OS, it does all of those things, but it also activates the game changer, allowing you to cycle through multiple plays of multiple different games on multiple different emulators. Even powering the handheld off and turning it back on, a lot of the games that I was playing stood active in the game changer. This is not only just convenient, but also for someone like me who has such a all over the place attention span, this is perfect for jumping back and forth without having to constantly use save states and load states. I absolutely love this feature and this alone is enough to make me jump on the Onion OS bandwagon. So the MiU Mini with Onion OS installed. Honestly, I feel like it's better in every single way, shape and form. I don't see any reason why anyone wouldn't wanna switch to Onion OS. It really is just a better overall experience. It took me so long to even try out Onion OS because I thought to myself, the MiU Mini is great as it is, how much better can this actually make it? And the answer is much better. If you own a stock Mini Plus and you're happy with it the way it is, that's fine also. It's a great handheld all around, but if you want to get the most out of the MiU Mini Plus, I would highly recommend installing Onion OS. Once again, if you guys are interested in Mech DIY and any of the accessories that they sell for the MiU Mini, or if you're interested in this specific build that I was using in this video for your own Mini, I'll put links in the description below. Until next time, this is Ness, signing out.